Hello and welcome to a very special word of caution when it comes to some of these upcoming re army releases including the Krieg and the Emperor's Children. And uh, this will be my little bit of an intro here so you can go ahead and jump up to the Emperor's Children section and their Krieg section and we're going to start with a little bit of a warning. If you don't want to hear that you can go ahead and just jump forward. The warning is this is that it don't allow yourself to get too caught up in FOMO and excitement for these armies because I don't believe their releases are going to be what we would refer to back in the day as full army releases or fully realized armies. I think they're going to be very much more akin to the word or world eaters release being very limited and try to eliminate as many of the things that were already part of of your potential collection as possible what do i mean by that i don't expect terminators just for example so i don't think you're going to see any phoenix guard or anything like that in this kind of release i think they're going to try to divorce it as much as possible from the chaos release so effectively you have to buy a new army so with that let's start with the Emperor's Children. What do I expect to see in the Emperor's Children? I expect to see about uh, three or four different things and that would be a cult related unit or a mortals related unit if you prefer. A complete revamp and refocus on the noise marines that's going to probably be their main infantry unit. A uh, specialty unit something I'm thinking along the lines of the wings of the Phoenician a kind of jump type unit that's like uh, Raptors but maybe the, what they do is they have like uh, spears or such that makes them not as easy to convert I suspect that they're going to focus a lot more on the Emperor's children's speed and aggression and a little bit of movement in there that's why I think they're going to get a jump unit that might have a bit of the Phoenix Guard slash uh, blades in there if you prefer. I do not expect to see a Terminator like unit at all. Um, just because they seem to really not want to when it comes to these cult marines have a Terminator style unit that you could easily just take one that you have already and transition it over such as the uh, the eight bound I think you're gonna get something odd probably some kind of like pleasure cult half demony marine guys uh, I assume in a box of three and that's what I'm expecting outside of some characters I think you're gonna get a revamp of Lucius you're definitely getting a um, well, the Phoenix himself in a full plastic unit. Uh, and there is a chance that we might get Eidolon, especially if we get a jump type unit. I think they would bring Eidolon back in. Plus, it would bulk it up and make it seem like a more impressive release. But I really don't expect it to be a massive release. Um, I expect a kind of a also pleasure cult. Uh, militarized kind of unit akin to what the Roaring Blades were for them in the Horus Heresy. <clears throat> that probably is a hybrid um, melee shooting unit. Something probably armed with like chain swords or crazy blades and some kind of uh, ranged weapon like pistols I'm assuming. And they're going to be a very aggressive kind of um, filtering unit or you know screening unit if you prefer so I expect them to be an aggressive army that's really fast that goes first and it ha reflects a little bit of that one age of Sigmar release um, I can't remember the name of them but let's talk about the Krieg a little bit all right the Krieg I expect to actually be a much more limited release than even the uh, Emperor's Children. <clears throat> now I don't know if it's confirmed that it's a full-on unique army with a unique codex 
or if it's a addition to the Imperial Guard. I'd prefer it as an addition personally. But this is what I expect to see if they are a full army release. And that is a Kriegsguardman. That is a hybrid kit that either makes Kriegsguardmen and Grenaders, or Grenadiers, or Kriegsguardsmen and Engineers. I expect one of those two to be the potential flip, probably Grenadiers, but I think Engineers are different enough that they would do that, especially in a basic infantry box. I think their Death Riders might end up just being a sprue to change up the riders on the Atlan Rough Riders. Um, that's a suspicion I have. I think that it would get the most use out of those. Um, but we could see a full Death Riders uh, kit depending on how well the Atlan Rough Riders sold. I have no clue, but hey, there's a potential. And I think it would be really easy for them to just pump out a sprue. That's where I think. That's why I think that. For an HQ, I'm expecting a, um, a, co a core officer in a command box. Something with like a medic and a couple adjutants. Um, I don't expect that there's going to be a commissar. Even though commissars tend to make sense, I think they're just not going to bother. I think they're because it would make it look like an even smaller release than I expect it to be. Outside that, I think the two other things you would see is you'd see some kind of, or you'd see a vehicle release, maybe something like the Chimera being revamped and released alongside them because you can sell it to both Imperial Guard players and Krieg players. And then maybe some other minor elements. I don't expect a huge amount of uh, stuff to be put out with the Krieger. The Krieger popular. I expect them mostly to see infantry. And get a very big uh, kind of focus on that infantry element. Even considering the, uh, the Imperial Guard releases. Um... Depending on how independent of a uh, group they are, if they're a full-on army unto themselves or not. If they're just an addition, then I think a smaller release is justified. Um, if it's a full army, I'm kind of debating. I think they might do something sly, like put out a vehicle revamp alongside them, and that might be it. But those are my uh, assumptions. But I will caution people... Do not get suckered in by the FOMO and the excitement of a new release. Look at it and go, is this a really a full thing that I'm going to be able to realize multiple armies? Is it a passing fancy? Is this going to really provide to me a true degree of uh, worth for what I am going to put out on it? If it's a passing fancy, maybe just buy one kit, play around with it. But do not expect a full, rich army list to come out because they're going to want to drip feed you over a very long period of time. And I'm, I'm just like, well, we can see this through a lot of their releases. They want that consistent yearly release that they can put out that has a selling potential. They don't want to all put it out at once anymore. They just want to drip feed it to you. So those are my words of caution and what I think we might see in the initial releases there. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I, usually you guys have better ideas than me. Or you have points that I haven't thought about. So let's see what people think and how they feel about it. And have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.